The White Mountains of New Hampshire are known for harsh weather and rocky terrain, for vibrant fall colors and snowy slopes, for year-round adventure, especially skiing and hiking along the Appalachian Trail. We set out to explore the waterfalls scattered across Crawford Notch. Some were large, others were very small. What really separated them from me was the journey to reach them. Stunning waterfalls off Route 302 with crowds and cars whizzing by felt underwhelming. Whereas a modest but secluded falls up in the mountains felt very special. Following rocky trails along fast-moving streams built up anticipation. We saw wildflowers, chipmunks, and friendly dogs along the way. Resting under a waterfall and admiring it from every angle was our reward. Arethusa Falls, the largest waterfall in the White Mountains, also required the longest climb. It stands 160 feet tall, above rocks where water crashes before continuing down the mountain. There are larger waterfalls than this, even on the east coast. However, Arethusa Falls felt unique to me. It was just us and a few other hikers admiring it from below. There were no crowds and no guardrails giving us freedom to explore. I've wanted to see air through the falls for a while now, and I'm glad that we got to. But the truth is, the best parts of any adventure in the Whites are the unexpected places that you run into. Side trails that you never planned on taking but that lead to stunning vistas, like this one over Crawford Notch. Or Frankenstein's Trestle, a railroad bridge built in the 1800s that in years past carried people and goods across the rugged landscape. I am guilty of striving to hit all the tallest, most popular peaks, but ignoring lots of the things that made this place so special. Every stream, vista, and tranquil spot in these mountains can be soothing and thought-provoking. Sometimes, you have to see where the crowds are going and walk the other way. <laughs> 